The guest is Dr. Cupid Poe, and we're talking about the attack on America September 11, 2001. And of course, Dr. Poe, during this last segment, uh, I think we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about, uh, I guess you would call it, the growth of spiritualism uh, in America since the uh, September 11th uh, attack. Let's uh, talk about it from that perspective. Okay, let me just say, uh, I think the appropriate designation would be spirituality. Spirituality, okay. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, uh, I was informed that the fastest growing church in America mm -hmm. is the urban black church. Mm -hmm. Apparently that's been true for at least a year, if not longer. I've also been informed that more people since September 11th, mm -hmm. more and more people are going back to the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we see signs, God bless America. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we would have seen those signs mm -hmm. had those events not occurred. Of course, God is in the business of bringing good out of evil. Mm -hmm. He's in the, in the business of bringing uh, hope out of despair. Mm -hmm. So there's no question in my mind that he has used these events even up to this point mm -hmm. and will continue to use them mm -hmm. to help this nation and to help people around the world to improve. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wake up call. Mm -hmm. I think the Lord has allowed this, and I didn't say cause, but mm -hmm. allowed it mm -hmm. so that we might take a look at ourselves mm -hmm. as a nation, as a people, so that people around the world might look at themselves. Mm -hmm. We have too much self-centered uh, behavior in our nation, mm -hmm. too much uh, 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 self-motivated uh, behavior. Mm -hmm. So we need to take a look at our beliefs, mm -hmm. Uh, we need to take a look at our attitudes. Mm -hmm. We need to take a look at our behavior. Mm -hmm. And this is a very good time to do so. And mm -hmm. I think people are beginning to do that, and they're beginning to recognize mm -hmm. that they need God, mm -hmm. that they cannot make it without God. They can't handle the fear and the anxiety mm -hmm. that these kinds of events mm -hmm. have generated. Uh, and so they're turning to God. You've heard the statement that there's no, there are no atheists in a foxhole. Okay, very good. Well, <laughs> the nation was rendered in a foxhole. Mm -hmm. Uh, for a few hours, and, and I want to applaud those people who have decided to go back to church. Mm -hmm. I want to applaud those people who have turned to God. I want to applaud those people who, are, who have begun to pray, mm -hmm. because it is only God that can really deliver us mm -hmm. from the kinds of anxieties and fears that this event and the threat of terrorism mm -hmm. is going to involve. Mm -hmm. And by the way, let me just say that terrorism really is sin. And mm -hmm. sin is a universal problem. Mm -hmm. It's a problem that goes back to the very beginning. And we're mm -hmm. not about to defeat uh, sin mm -hmm. overnight. Mm -hmm. It involves everybody. Mm -hmm. God has called all of us mm -hmm. in the struggle against sin. Mm -hmm. All right? So, yes, this problem of terrorism is a problem of sin. It's mm -hmm. going to be around for a while. And I think that it, it is God's plan that all of us be involved in fighting this particular mm -hmm. problem. And, and of course, I, I think you've already talked about uh, the national response in reference to this. Now, do you think that we're going to keep this high uh, intensity kind of national response up? Uh, how long can we go uh, like that? Uh, and what impact do you think that this will have uh, on us? Uh, every day, day in and day out, uh, there's a fear of this, a fear of that. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be a, uh, the national response to everything. How long can we uh, persist like that? And what impact do you think that it will eventually have on us, us as a nation? Well, I'm hoping that what it does is that it, it causes us to examine ourselves, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. at every level, uh, from the national level down to the local level, that people use what's going on, the threat and the fears, uh, the deaths, the injuries, uh, they use it as an opportunity to take a good look at themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that those people who, who recognize that they need God, mm -hmm. uh, that these persons will turn to God. Now, if this happens, then this event will not just be a tragedy. Mm -hmm. This event will also be an event that God has turned into a blessing to this nation mm -hmm. and to the world. So I believe that we can emerge out of this mm -hmm. a stronger nation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe that we can emerge out of this a more unified people. Mm -hmm. I believe that this event can be turned into, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. into a blessing. We can bring good out of it mm -hmm. if we are willing to turn to God mm -hmm. and try to live a life as a nation under God, not above God, mm -hmm. under God, not alongside mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why these events mm -hmm. are happening at mm -hmm. this time. You know, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, talking about a national response, and uh, Mr. Bin Laden, uh, uh, when we announced that we would like to uh, you know, capture dead alive, 
How would you perceive or conceive of some, uh, some way that we might be able to get our hands on him? And once that happens, I mean, how, what would we do with him? I mean, I, I mean how, would you, how, how would we react to having his physical presence incarcerated or what? I mean, how would that be? Could we do that? Well, I would hope that we could uh, find him, we could detain him, uh, and that we could examine him. Mm -hmm because Mr. Bin Laden tells us a lot about our own weaknesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe that one of our weaknesses is uh, the same as his greatest weakness, which is his greed for power, mm -hmm. greed for money, mm -hmm. greed to be in control, greed to dominate. See, we've got those same problems, mm -hmm. all right? So we need to study him. We need to learn from mm -hmm. him before any other definitive action is taken mm -hmm. uh, because if we learn about our own uh, uh, deeper weaknesses, mm -hmm. then we can begin to correct them. Mm -hmm. But if we think we're gonna solve our problem by eliminating him, mm -hmm. just eliminating him, mm -hmm. uh, then that's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. We have gotta use what's going on, use his behavior as an opportunity to look at ourselves again mm -hmm. and identify those things in ourselves that we see reflected in him mm -hmm. and then make some effort to improve or to correct mm -hmm. those problems. You know, Dr. Poe, we're nearing the uh, end of this uh, segment for today and end of the show in reality. But you know, uh, what I'd like to do the next time that you come is to uh, give us some information about your trip to Africa and how mm -hmm. uh, this whole e event is perceived there. I wanted to get around to that, but uh, there's so many things that we have to talk about. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.